just here with the books behind me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Just here with the books behind me. This is Amin with Sarah Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. This week I want to give you a tip on how to get something so many people want. And that is a decent job. Yeah. I've been hiring recently. Okay. Alhamdulillah. I'm looking for someone to work part time. And, you know, honestly, I got, let me think, probably got 50 applications, maybe a bit more than that. Out of those 50, I, I gave them a little task to do, a tiny little thing. Um, and out of those 50, it turned into just like 20 that actually did it, the very simple thing, decently. If they don't have attention to detail, I'm not even going to consider them, right? So 20 people. Now, out of those 20 people, I interviewed some of them. Um, and, you know, most of them just, uh, I wasn't really convinced, okay? They, they couldn't give me specific examples of what they wanted, uh, what they've done in the past. Um, and that made me uneasy and, uh, you know, I was a bit unsure of hiring them. One of them, he sounded excellent, right? He had what I wanted. The problem was he was already working elsewhere and he wanted to work for me part-time. I was looking for someone to work full-time to focus 100% on my business to uh, and someone I can invest in, someone I'm willing to spend money on, not just for their salary, but for their development, because I feel like they're focused on my business and they'll be there for a year or more. But because this guy was only uh, you know, offering uh, part-time, I was not considering, uh, you know, I didn't really know what to do. But what did this guy do that you can do, which turned the tables for him? He, you know, we, ha we had the interview, it ended, you know, it was a great interview, you know, I was impressed. Then what happened? I emailed him, I said, look, I'm going to take the week to consider it, but really, uh, I need someone full time. This is what I'm looking for, full time. And I'll pay more if it's full time. And I want someone focused. And I'm not convinced you're going to be focused and do a really good job on my business um, when you're part time. I'm just not convinced, right? And I told him that. I said, but you're still good and I'll consider you. So what did he come back with? Actually, before the interview, he even said, I'll work for you three days for free so you can you could get a, a taster instead of guessing how I'm going to actually work and me trying to pretend I'm do this, this, this. Let me just do the work for three days for free. So that was an excellent thing first. For, so his application was good enough. On top of that, he offered to work for free for three days. The interview was good. But after all these three, the, all these things, I still wasn't fully convinced because I wanted full time. Now, what did he do after that? I told him, well, I'm considering you, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you know what? I'll work uh, for the rest of the month, which at that time I think was two weeks. I'll work two weeks for free to show you that me working part time will not be a problem. It won't, it won't stop me being focused and getting work done to a good quality. Okay. So when he said that, I was like, wow. Firstly, he's offering to allow, you know, to, to me, for me to see the real results without me paying anything, which is great. The other thing is, though, it showed me his attitude is one of someone who's, who's willing to work hard, who's willing to sacrifice to get something that they want, and also that they really want, he really wants this job. That's what convinced me. The attitude was the big part, not saving money, but the attitude he showed. Now, he did one more thing. On top of sending that email, he sent me a message. He said, uh, you know, the job you're hiring for, uh, I think these tips could help. And he sent me, I think it was five tips on how I could improve. Now, maybe they're tips that I already knew or something, but the fact that he thought of me and he sent that and he's giving this value up for free and he's willing to work for free and this, he just, for me, it's like, this guy's hungry. This guy's got a good attitude, good work ethic. And I think I'm going to try him. So how can you apply this similar thing to when you're looking to get a job? Most people, they want to work. When they're looking to work, they're, they're very short-term thinking. They're thinking, look, I want to get a job. I want to get salary from day one. You know, some people, they, they move to another city for a job and they want to get paid up front so they can pay for their rent and furniture and all that up front. Meanwhile, people like this guy I'm talking about, 
He's offering to work two weeks for free. So think about that. How can you, you know, give someone, basically reduce their risk, absolutely reduce their risk by working for them for free for, for the first month? I would say even if you're, if you're just graduated or something like that, work for them for free, even for three months. If you think it requires three months to, to convince them, give them three months. You're going to get experience anyway. You're going to learn loads. You're not going to pay to learn that. You're just going gonna to pay in time, not in money right and after the three months like you another thing is most people are not good at their job they're not productive they're not effective and they're not truly trying to achieve results if you uh, join someone's business you work for free for one month two months three months and you have you're productive you're effective and you're actually getting results then i don't it'd be stupid for someone not to hire you because it's so rare to find people like that so how can you go to someone and get a job by working for them for free? Imagine you work for them for two years, just two years, not that much. And you worked free for three months. So you invested three months to get, what's that, 21 months of work out of it. Is that not a good return on your investment? So consider this when you're getting a job. I just thought this is a real life mindset tip that's happening real life in, in, in my life let me just share it with you. Let me share it with the Sierra Masters. A lot of you are looking for jobs. I'm looking to hire people for jobs. And, you know, as an employer, this is what I, I, I've got in mind. And by the way, I didn't even look at this guy's CV because I'm not interested in CVs. I'm interested in what proven work have you done in the past. Um, I know a lot of people look at CVs. I don't, I don't know if this guy's been to uni or not. So... Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on the job if, if uh, university is uh, important or not. So yeah, um, this, is, this is a good lesson to learn. What can you do? What can you offer someone uh, to push them over the edge to get you on board, get your foot in the door, see what happens? Um, and then also, what? how can you show your attitude, that you have a good attitude, and also look at the employer's um, objections. Why might they not employ you? And then give them something which gets rid of those objections. This has been Amin with Sarah Masters. Thanks for listening. Assalamu alaikum. See you next week.